He's caught over 810 pound plus largemouth bass, holder of 13 worldwide patents, and inventor of the Wheelos Trolling Motor Prop. Doug Hannon is the Bass Professor. The most important fish holding characteristic of shallow water like this is all of the isolated cover everywhere around in the water so that the fish can actually move from one spot to the other and adequately forage on all the food that's available here. It also takes a skinny water boat not only to get in here but also to move around at low trolling motor speeds and not spook the fish. A look underwater shows the amazing fish holding powers of even the smallest pieces of structure. As we approach this one, I'm struck by the amount of fish that are holding in this small amount of brush with a slight overhang of shade by it. What's more, the more you look, the more you see. At first, what appears to be just some small fish are out on the edge, but as we go deeper down in it and into the more shaded areas, we see some true lunkers. Imagine finding this piece of brush with a flipping stick and a turner. Different isolated pieces of structure or cover offer varied feeding opportunities from time to time, and the fish will move from one to the other to take advantage of these. Usually the movement involves a fish just filtering out one or two at a time and moving over to the next structure and collecting there. The large groups of fish tend to be in the structures at all times. What you should have learned is when fishing shallow water with isolated pieces of cover, pay close attention to each structure, no matter how small or insignificant it may seem.